Okay, we're here with our lovely principal, Miss Parker. Here with my favourite math teacher, Miss Fidel. With our former year advisor, Mr. Garvey. Trader! Here with our um, year advisor, with Mr. O'Halloran, with Mr. Short. So, um, what's one one thing that you hate about our year? I don't hate anything about your year. Your year group is awesome. I love everything about them. I don't hate anything about this year group. Just one thing? Yeah. Uh, you talk too much. I've never actually seen a group of girls that talk too much. Don't talk enough in class! Wow, that's a complete... Talk more! Of what everyone's... The fact that I've taught you all year every single bloody subject, it seems like. <laughs> every single one. <laughs> the thing that I hate is that I can't ever work out the thing that I hate is. I love this year group. Nothing. Agree is a strong word. Um, you use alright. You've got some characters, but... I'd like to you. Do you agree that our year group is the best year group? Absolutely. Hands down. The best year group we've had so far this year is year 12. It's the best year group ever. Oh look, of course. I've taught so many year groups and, um, you know, despite my previous answer, they did. Okay. In 2019, you are the best year 12 group I've ever had. 100%. The best year group. Yeah. It's ever graduated in 2019. There will never be a year group as good as the class of 2019. Do you say that every year? No, because there's only one 2019 every year. Second best. Who's the first best? Last year. Seeing as the other year groups have left, then absolutely, absolutely yes. Um, is there any teacher likely that as principal have to maybe break up or like you hear about? Oh, absolutely. These teachers are at each other's throats every day. Fight about everything. Sometimes I have to like put together. them in naughty corners. Yeah, together, uh -huh. uh, apart, no. with other teachers. Have to put them in naughty corners all the time. Okay. Oh, Halloran. What, do you want to establish that? It's mainly through Tempin Bowl. Um, so I'm, you too? I maintain I'm the superior player, okay. and if he says he is, he's, he's lying. Uh, there are, definitely. Um, you know, the faculties don't really get along. It's very competitive, but I think that brings out the best in us teaching. Really. I know that Mr. Garbutt and Mr. Fraser secretly hate each other, okay. but they don't want to tell anybody. They play it really cool, but yeah, there's a massive rivalry between them. A long history there. I'm not sure if I have time to go into it. Do you think it's like a pure hate? Like a hatred? Yes. Yes. I hate him, he hates me. We have to pretend to like each other. It's like, oh, come to work. But secretly, I just, the guy just. Okay. He's so nice and friendly and caring. Something funny happened in the staff room today. What was it? So I went to unlock my classroom and someone had taken my- Was it Simsy? Why can't you just let me tell a story? Because your stories are lame! Excuse me? You can't speak to me like that. I'm the head of English, you should be scared of me! Scared of you, mate. I despise you. You beard-growing, Shakespearean, Hawaiian dress-wearing, English teacher. Whoa, 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 guys. Let's think about this rationally. Don't talk to me like a student. Do I look like a little girl to you? <laughs> is there something you want to share with the class, Jacob? I don't know. Justin is there? Michael would like to be a part of this conversation. <laughs> Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? Michael likes to narrate his life as if he were in a novel. Well, Justin thinks Jacob should apologise to Michael. Well, Jacob thinks that Michael is sucking up to Justin. It's stupid that Michael narrates his own life. And who asked Jacob about his life? Look, I've got things going on. Jacob's got lots of things going on. He's got ear holes. He was in a band as well. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Sometimes I just feel like Justin and Michael don't understand me, Jacob. Well, 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 well. I'm doing it! Guys! So boys, I've heard about the ruckus in the staff room. I'm so sorry. It was a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Suck up. I'm just so sick of them bullying me. <laughs> Alright, Shakespeare. It's alright, sweetheart. A few moments later. I think I really just need 
to sit down and, and hug it out. Find some peace tonight in the arms of the angel. Fly away from here, from this star cool. Am I your favourite student? Yes. Is Georgia your favourite student? Who's Georgia? <laughs> You're my favourite set of twins, I guess. Okay, thanks. Oh wait, who's the other set of twins? There's no others, are there? Oh, don't worry about them. Yeah. Sure. Definitely, Georgia. Yeah, I'm. I'm what? what? I'm a Kayla. I'm joking. Greatest <laughs> room you've heard about yourself. My brother is my boyfriend. I actually broke my leg, but I that I'm a blonde. Um, no rumours, because I'm irrelevant. That we're in a relationship. Um, that I got. Look. That I have sugar daddies. That I was a lesbian once. I was um, a single mother with a baby at 16. We're kind of not popular, so. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Sum up your high school experience in one word. I'm sorry. He uses the chill and like a lot of the rhymes. In one word! Two words. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. Wild. Drama. Wholesome. Lessons. Long. Sugar honey last tea! <laughs> okay, so miss, can you please explain to us what happened at year 11 camp? <laughs> Guys, what did we do? Uh, so, essentially, I got all the girls settled in their cabins. It was about 11 o'clock at night. And I really needed a shower. So finally, I decided, okay, everything's pretty calm. I'll jump in the shower. And of course, I set the fire alarm off, which had the entire campsite evacuated. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Outside. Is it out? Is it out? Oh my god, you're so